Yo, what is up, how you guys doing? My name is Priyanshu, and today I'm going to show you guys 10 absolutely useful macOS utility apps that you never knew existed. So watch the video till the end and use all the apps which I will show you in the video. I'll provide you the link of all the apps in the description below, so make sure you check them out. And before that, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing because if you guys will not subscribe and support, small creators like me will never get the opportunity to grow big. So please consider subscribing. Now, without any further ado, let's start the video. Number one is Animator. Animator is a great utility app for your Mac that lets you use your iPhone or Android phone as a webcam or a mic for your Mac. The use cases are plenty with Animator. You can use it to join meetings with an ultra high resolution video, live stream videos on YouTube or Twitch and even watch the videos and photos on your phone on a bigger screen. Apart from this, Animator also supports multiple source of screen sharing, screen casting locally saved files, screen recording and even live and notation so definitely check this out Number two is CryptoNodes. So if you are looking for a native Mac app that would help you track and monitor crypto prices in real time, then you should definitely check CryptoNodes. If you are a day trader or someone who does occasional trading, you should definitely add CryptoNodes to your arsenal. The app maintains a real-time connection with popular exchanges like Binance and will instantly notify you about any significant price change or movement in the crypto market. You can also search for your favorite coin to track prices, receive notification when there is a significant change in the market and automatically open an exchange in any browser to quickly perform any desired actions. So this is a great app to have. Number three is Desk Screen. Desk Screen is a lightweight utility app that lets you basically use any device with a web browser install in it as a secondary monitor for your main device. It does this by live streaming your main screen to the device you want to use. You want using a secure connection with end-to-end -end encryption. The use cases for a desk screen app are basically endless. You can use your iPad, your iPhone as a secondary screen for your Mac and use it to control your music, watch videos while you work or edit documents while you are in a meeting or so on. So this is a great app, definitely check this out. Number four is Cryptor. Cryptor is a completely free and open source native application for your Mac that can be used to encrypt any type of file on your Mac and digitally sign any software. The Cryptor app is very user friendly and it makes use of simple commands and secure cryptographic algorithm to encrypt the file on your Mac. Cryptor also supports simultaneous encryption of multiple files and folders on your Mac or even external storage devices to ensure that your file and cloud backup remain secure. The website for crypto is well documented with detailed instruction and command on how to use the different features and option of the app. So this is a must have app. Next is meeting bar. Meeting Bar is a nifty little utility app that lives in the menu bar of your Mac and display your upcoming meeting details in the menu bar, which you can click to join the meeting in the corresponding app quickly. The app integrates well with the calendar on your Mac and you can click on the meeting bar icon in the menu bar to glance at your upcoming meetings, join meetings in any app, create meetings and events, etc. So this is a must have app. Next is Rust Desk. Rust Desk is a useful tool if you regularly access a remote desktop from your Mac. It is written using Rust programming language, making the app secure and memory efficient. The app is also designed with security in mind. No additional configuration is required to use the app, as the simple user-friendly interface allows you to start using it right away after downloading. Rust Desk also comes with a built-in secure file manager, which allows you to easily transfer files between your remote desktop and your host computer. The best part about Rust Desk is that it does not require any admin credentials or installation to work. So you can even install it and try it on your work Mac. Next application is Stats. Stats is basically a system monitor app that lives in an icon on the menu bar of your Mac and it displays essential information about your Mac such as battery level, CPU and memory uses and network and sensor information. The information displayed by the Stats app is pretty detailed and you can access any of the information you want by simply clicking on the app icon on the menu bar from anywhere on the Mac. You can get information such as the health of your Mac battery, 
your network speed, CPU temperature, memory used by different apps, storage space details, and so much more using stats. So definitely try out. Next app is Tenacity. If you're someone who works on a lot of audio files or podcast, then you should definitely try out Tenacity. Tenacity is a beginner friendly and completely free audio editing app for your Mac that supports features like multi-tracking editing, cross-platform support, high quality export to many different audio formats. The app has an easy to use interface with all the features you might expect from an audio editing app, including audio effects, plugin support, etc. So if you're working with audio, then you should must have this app. Next app is Thorium Reader. Thorium Reader is an app designed to give the best reading experience for the people who read many ebooks on their MacBook. The best part about Thorium Reader app is that it is totally free to use and doesn't come with any hidden ads. The app also has great accessibility features to provide you a smooth learning experience for people with dyslexia and visual impairment. The user interface of Thorium Reader is simple and elegant and matches the design language of macOS very so this is another great app, you should definitely try it out. Next application is Week To Do. While there are a lot of great to-do list apps out there for your Mac, Week To Do differs in a few ways that makes it stand out from the crowd. The app has an intuitive design that lets you create and manage your task for the entire week and the default weekly view of your task is great to quickly glance at all the upcoming things for the week and to be prepared. Week to do is free to use and does not have any hidden ads or subscription option. The app is also privacy focused so all your data is locally stored either on your computer or in the browser. Also the UI is designed to be minimal without distracting you from the task. So another great application so that's it for the video guys you guys tell me in the comment section how you like the video and if you know about more utility apps then mention in the comment section and also like this video and consider subscribing i will see you later bye